Hello, in this video we're going to look at optimal lot size. This deals with inventory holdings. So some preliminaries. Suppose a part supplier must produce 36,000 parts per year. We're going to assume that the parts are sold at an even pace during the year. So we got some part supplier, some manufacturer that must produce 36,000 parts per year. We're going to again assume these parts are sold at an even pace during the year. The annual cost of holding one part in inventory for the entire year is going to be $2. Okay, so I'm just making up some value here. Let's call it $2, the annual cost of holding one part in inventory. The setup cost for a production run of parts is $4,000, regardless of how many parts are produced in a production run. So this firm, if it wanted to, it might decide to produce all 36,000 parts at the beginning of the year. In that case, it would incur one production run and one setup cost of $4,000. All right, let's now look at this more closely. What's the goal of the firm? The goal of the firm is to minimize this, to minimize the total cost in this case, total cost is going to equal the setup cost times the number of production runs plus the annual average cost of holding a part in inventory. annual inventory holding cost per part multiplied by the average annual inventory holdings. Okay, so you might notice that there's going to be a trade-off here. We've got two components of this firm's total cost. This first component is dealing with the number of production runs. Are we going to produce 36,000 parts at once? Are we going to split that into two production runs, producing 18,000 parts at the beginning of the year, another 18,000 halfway during the year? Uh, how are we going to do that? The fewer the production runs means we're not going to incur as much in terms of setup cost. Uh, the bad news is if you do very few production runs, you're going to have a very big inventory, so your inventory holding costs are going to be higher during the year. So what is the optimal number of production runs? What is the optimal lot size? That's what we're trying to figure out here. So let's uh, get to that then. Let's assume a few things. Let's assume that the setup cost is four thousand dollars. Okay. We're going to let n equal the number of production runs. And this is what we're going to be solving for in a bit. Number of production runs. Uh, let's have the annual average holding cost per part. Let's let that equal two dollars. And the next thing I think we need to look at a little bit more closely is this term over here, average annual inventory holdings. This value here is going to equal the following. The annual number of parts to produce in our case it's 36,000 divided by 2 times n where n is the number of production runs. Let me explain that a little bit more. If 
if we decide to produce 36,000 parts in one production run, and then sell those parts from an inventory at, at an even pace during the year, our average inventory holdings is just going to be 18,000. So the average inventory holdings will just be 36,000 divided by 2 multiplied by the number of production runs and that equals 18,000. Let me do another example, see if I squeeze it in over here. So we got time and then the inventory holdings up here. Let's say we decide to produce this 36,000 parts in two production runs of 18,000 each. So at the first of the year, at the beginning of the year, we produce 18,000 parts. We use those, uh, sell those from inventory. Then we have to produce another 18,000 parts and then sell those. So in total, we have two production runs of 18,000 each. Our average inventory holding is going to be 9,000 or just 36,000 36, divided by 2 times the number of production runs. In this case, it's 2 and that equals 9,000. So the average inventory holdings with two production runs is 9,000. Okay, uh, let's go ahead now and try to solve this problem. So this firm's total cost is going to equal the setup cost times n the number of production runs plus the average annual inventory cost per part, holding cost per part, which is two dollars. That's going to be multiplied by the average inventory holdings The average inventory holdings in our example is the number of parts we want to produce during this year, 36,000 divided by 2n. Simplifying that just a little bit, we get 36,000 divided by n. This now becomes a minimization problem. We're going to take the derivative of total cost with respect to n, the number of production runs, so the derivative of 4,000n is just 4,000. The derivative of 36,000 divided by n is minus 36,000 divided by n squared. Since we're interested in minimizing this, we're going to set this derivative result equal to 0. Now, if you're unsure where this is coming from, it's the same thing as rewriting 36,000 divided by n equaling 36,000 times n to the minus 1 power. The derivative of that uh, leaves you to this result and I'm just moving this n term back in the denominator. So anyways, let's go ahead and solve this derivative for n. Okay, moving uh, one set of terms over to the other side, solving for n. n squared equals 9. Taking the square root of both sides, n equals 3. So that is the optimal number of production runs. We're going to do three production runs throughout the year. Therefore, Each production run will consist of 12,000 parts, producing 12,000 parts. So in our diagram here where we got time and inventory holdings, we have something that looks like this. Each production run is 12,000 and we're going to do three of them to produce our 36,000 parts. That, would, that is what minimizes the total cost 
of setup and inventory holdings. Okay, hope you found this video helpful.